hello the internet it is monday the 11th of june no it's not it is monday the 11th of july 2016 it is stupid o'clock in the morning for the next three weeks gav and i my cousin will be spending it in th we'll, i'm gonna say we'll be spending it in three weeks we'll be spending it in canada it's way too early to talk concisely let's just get to the airport Flying with Korean Air. Not that excited by this, to be honest. I miss my Emirates. I'm oh, fine, Gav. Hey, man. How you going? How are you? I think, I think good, good. Hello. Hi. How you going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. That's good. Do you have your... Oh, that's why. They've put it around the wrong way. My, my name? They've put your first name as the surname. That happens. <laughs> That <laughs> That's why I can't find you there. When you've got two weird names, it's easy to get confused. When you've got five in total. <laughs> <laughs> Dilemma we're having now, we booked through an intermediary travel agent, if you like, online, called DNA Travel, D DNA, DNA, I can't even say it. And they used our first names as our last names and our last name as our first name pretty lousy because that's not the way we filled it out and we're waiting here now for someone to resolve it because we can't travel on passports with swap names and it wasn't our fault because I've got five names and I wouldn't have put all five in the first field and one in the last that's not how I did it so we're just trying to get that resolved this is why I want to fly Emirates Unless you didn't want to be. <laughs> well, we're saying on, on the way back, yeah. maybe not hey, after a month yeah. together. Cool, okay. cool. Thank you very Have much. Have a lovely trip. Thanks, Thanks a lot. You. See ya. Bye. That's a bit um, Korean Airlines, I mean. Actually, it's not Korean that did that. It's the DNA travel guys. It didn't really throw us out much, but we had to wait about 40 minutes just to get them to resolve it. There was a threat that it's going to cost money to change our names, but we're not going to pay money to fix an error that we didn't cause. But anyway, they, they ended up saying it's not going to cost anything. It's just going to cost some time. Now we're all checked in, heading to the gate. Laptops out. Yeah, laptops out. Water toiletries and laptops. On. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Again. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks your the here the plane. <laughs> we had another trouble. Not, no, not trouble. Confusion. The lovely Korean lady, Korean? No, the lovely Korean Airways ladies. That's racist. Thought we needed to get a ETSA for, Can for Canada, but we'd already checked that out online and we don't need to get one. There's a grace period until it gets rolled out in September. And uh, yeah, it took them about 10 minutes to work that out, but then we got priority boarding. This is priority boarding. Yeah, Hello. Hi, come over. Yes. Oh, oh. dropped it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, Thank you. This way, please. Thank you. I'm not sure if I dropped that or if she dropped it. Hello. Are there yet? This is my first time flying Korean Airlines. They don't give you the little jack bottles, they pour it in. And I asked for two, so we got a full cup of Jack Daniels. Yeah, that's weird. Cheers. I'm kind of span it here. I mean, I want to have a drink, but do I want to have all that Jack Daniels? There's no room for Coke. But nine hours and 45 minutes to Seoul. Can I take a Jack Daniels if you have? Uh, with ice? Yeah. yeah. And Coke? Yeah. Can I get two Jack Daniels? Two Jack Daniels? Oh, you, I think you have already more. I've already had two. I'd like two more. If that's okay. <laughs> I see a lot of uh, vloggers come into the bathroom in an aeroplane and do a really. Um, insightful piece to camera and I don't have anything to say I just wanted to see how tight it is in here to to do this and it's pretty tight that's it ladies and gentlemen we have landed at Incheon International Airport the local time is 5.42 p.m. Monday July, July 11th yeah. thank you guys. thank you Seoul, that was an 11 hour flight. Korean Air, no complaints. That's us there. Never understand this when you're in an international airport with a transfer. Why you gotta go through these again? We've already been through them to get into the airport in Sydney.
vlogs ago, probably about 10, I um, actually, the Tracer Tour, the last Tracer Tour, I was complaining about my MacBook Pro not being powerful enough to uh, work on 4K footage. Remember I put in 16 gig of RAM? Well, it didn't work and I had to render proxies. This time, I have a brand new machine. I'm pretty certain I'm not gonna have any more troubles like that ever again. Let's have a look. Mid last year's model, which is actually this year's model because I haven't updated them for so long. 2.5 gigahertz, Core i7, max 16 gigs of RAM. And I actually have done a little bit of playing on uh, some rendering at home and it works perfectly. No more proxies. It's gonna be sweet sailing. There's just one thing I've gotta do, make it mine. Fresh out of Joby stickers, but I'm still using the Gorilla Pod that you sent me last time. It's going strong. It's a little bit loose. I don't know. Maybe I need next time to go up to the absolute largest one that you guys make. But at the moment, I've got no Joby stickers to slap on the old laptop. Hello. Yes, sir. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Hello. Excuse me. Thank you. We don't have a great seat this time. We've got 10 hours on this flight from Seoul to Vancouver. We haven't even left yet, and I've already been asked not to film. So anything I film, I've got to be really sneaky about it and just keep it down. It's a combination of 21 hours of flying, but my nose is all snotted. I don't feel sick, but I'm snotting and crap everywhere. What a rad airport. What airport has sea life? Aquarium style. Go downtown to uh, the Canby Hostel. Thank you. Have a good day. So we've taken showers, cleansed ourselves, feeling much better here at the Canby. It's a bit of a buzz to be back in Vancouver. We're going to take a stroll. Going to go walk down Granville Street, probably down Stanley Park. Spin out about being back in Vancouver. It's a bit of a trip. Both Gav and I have two sort of separate reasons for wanting to come to Vancouver. For me. A lot of Vancouver, the history is pretty much based around one experience. I showed you a bit of it a few vlogs back when I was on tour with Tracer and I caught up with this girl called Jenny. She's a Canadian girl. Cutting a long story short, when I came to Vancouver, she, um, I met her very rapidly. That rapidly sounds stupid. I met her quite quickly. That's the same as rapidly. We met. Is this camera gonna pick up even if we whisper? Mm. You've got your hand over the microphone. No, no I don't. That's better. Hello. Mm -hmm. Sapphire's on my back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she climbed on me and didn't bite me. What a fluke. That's like, rare. <laughs> <laughs> and she lived here, corner of Robson and Howe Street. A big reason for me coming back here was, well, I guess for... T 16 years I really wanted to come back to see her but she no longer lives in Canada as you've seen she lives in Poland but this right here is where she used to live and pretty much my entire Vancouver experience was based around this block um, the whole of Granville Street heading north and then across down here which we're going to go down to Stanley Park and, and all that area but it's funny how you can remember things like that because yeah I mean corner of Robson and Howe. Used to be a Chapters bookstore uh, underneath it. Now it's a, it's a sports store. Me catching up with Jenny in Poland was kind of a good way to, not resolve, I don't want to use that word resolve, but like I, if I came here now and Jenny lived in, in 
uh, Vancouver or in anywhere in Canada, I'd want to have this experience with her. But because I had it with her in Poland, and it was so cool to catch her, it's kind of cool to come here now and not have her here. Because now I can explore this city um, with Gav, and we can get a different perspective on Vancouver. And that, that was a big reason why I wanted to come here. Because I reckon, as much as it was such a rad time with Jenny here, I reckon it was also um, somewhat of a, I don't know, like one dimensional, if you like. Not, not that that's a bad thing, but that's just the way it rolled. I reckon I'm waffling heaps now, but there you go. Still remember her phone number, 8124044. How about that? Should try ringing it. I used to ring it from a public phone over here. <laughs> I might just come ring it. What was I thinking? You can't ring. There are no public phones. It's 2016. Public phones are long gone. And there's the pink building. Known as the pink building because of its color and the fact it's a building. Oh, damn it. I was going to do a bit of vending. I love a good vend. Is that a roundabout in Canada? I thought they had four-way stop signs. I'd make that a Kent Canadian roundabout. How is this how is this place there? It's like a fairy tale. There's that building with a tree growing out of the roof of it. Who would build a building with a full-blown tree living out the top of it? I marveled at it when I was here last time and I marveled at it now. I was saying before how both Gav and I have separate reasons for wanting to come back to Vancouver and I explained mine before and now we're at Swish Rock. It's not actually Swish Rock but it looks like Swish Rock. And here's Gav's reasonings for wanting to come back to Canada. I like it. Um, <laughs> Very succinct. <laughs> uh, he's, got, he's got more to say. I came here in 1999 and I, um, I really liked the place but I feel like perhaps I didn't um, make the best of my opportunities both in Vancouver and Canada um, and I always felt like I wanted to come back and see some of the things that I saw before and also have a separate holiday on top of that and do some other things in the country that I missed out on last time I feel like I have a pretty close connection with the place and walking around today I knew where to turn and I remembered certain things that were there and it was really like it wasn't 17 years ago so it was kind of bizarre. I think it's a pretty, there's a special vibe in Vancouver for sure. Nice. And what's what's this you got here? Oh yeah, today's random beer, red truck. Seems appropriate being that I do like my red death and I am the truck. <laughs> and um, haven't slept. That's, uh, this has been the longest day of my life and it's going to get longer. When I was um, in Canada in 1999, I used to come down around English Bay, Stanley Park area, and I just used to love to have a beer and tilt my head at, at the surrounds, and um, it's good to be able to come back and do that again. day began pretty much where it started not really because we started the day on a plane but we started our walk down here in the English Bay and we just came back to where we began same dudes that we met offered to take us out on a boat out here in English Bay to see the sunset now the sunset's not that great but we're gonna go out anyway so we're gonna meet these guys a little bit down here at Falls Creek and we're gonna go on their boat oh that's um we're out of time hey thanks a lot for checking out gives a minute my YouTube channel, the one you just watched. If you liked it, perhaps you'd like to check out the previous minute, a random minute, or even the very first minute. And if you're feeling generous, do me a solid. Subscribe. 
If you're a photographer, you might want to check out my Lightroom 6 presets and all the other social crap. That was a long pause. See ya.